Look at these stats over here. COVID-19 impact on media buying. 49% held back a campaign launch until later in 2020. 45% stopped or paused a media campaign midway. 38% paused all advertising until later 2020. 34% scrapped their campaigns pre-launch. Majority of advertisers don't have the spending power to buy additional impressions, which has resulted in extremely low CPMs. Ad Moik, Moik, whatever, shared that there is 17.2% drop in week over week ad revenues, direct deal, real time bidding also dropped by 15%, and CPMs of 14.8. B2B buyers count on vendors to provide more quality, accurate buying information, more confidence. Businesses that sell non essential products and services can expect the dip to continue until the next few months. Forget the next few months, it's going to keep on going. Let's continue. So, paid advertising. 53% of consumers preferred brands to communicate through TV ads. 35% of consumers are more interested in hearing about online retail, excluding food, than they were before. As per the research conducted by AI software company Remesh, 97% of people are using social media for at least one to three hours a day. Despite targeted advertising, these were some statistics the research discovered. 64% of people ignored paid ads. 49% blocked those ads. 79% of people urge brands to have ads that are positive and caring and inclusive. Contrary to common behavior, it's time to apply common business sense and invest money into ROI. Oh, blah, 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 blah. ROI, you don't say. Oh my God, return on investment, call. And now is a good time to invest in ads and webinars for the new normal post COVID. New normal marketing. What the fuck? How the fuck are people marketing before this? Jesus fucking Christ. Anyways, the rest is uh, mumbo jumbo. What I want to talk about is uh, this. So, yeah, it's no surprise. All the marketing budgets are down and people are spending more time online. But there's this huge opportunity. I said this last year. I think, believe it or not, depending obviously on your product, uh, and majority of this is e-commerce anyways, physical products, I believe there's going to be a massive comeback when it comes to direct sales. And specifically now, you gotta think about this. If the, even when the quarantine is lifted, it's not like people are gonna be congregating left, right, and center. Remote working is gonna become a, more normal. People will be spending more time in their house. And as the ad said, people just, just don't trust it. They don't trust ads anymore. And I will never forget it. I was at the Covenant House. So I try to do the Covenant House every year and we raise money. And I was asking like, how do you raise money? And 80% of how they raise money is direct mail. It's not online, it's not be. it's literally fucking direct mail. Emailing out their advertising pamphlets and what they do and case studies and they should send it out to their uh, recipients. And so I think this is a golden opportunity where you can get dirt cheap direct response marketing. Pay somebody to go deliver in a, in a community. You can buy postal code address. There's a bunch of different directories out there. But I think combining both direct marketing, so direct sales, where I'm getting some nice, like a really cool marketing pamphlet where you're adding value, you're giving me something. It's not just like bullshit hype, but you're actually, you're actually, I'm benefiting from reading that. It might be like a cool case study. It might be like a small token of appreciation, but the combination of the physicality to the digital will increase your ROI. People are, they're getting ad fatigue. At the end of the day, all ads, become irrelevant we call this ad fatigue or you know the burnout of a funnel and so depending on the business you're in right now i think it's a massive opportunity like if you're in a major city go hire somebody right now you know they can wear gloves and uh you know obviously after this quarantine's done in a month or so make make a beautiful type of creative like a really nice creative they're cheap man like i think it's so much low-hanging fruit right now businesses need business you can get shit cheaper hire some kid you know out of out of high school pay him like hey here's 10 bucks an hour cash go run around to these addresses and uh you i'm telling you man the returns are going to be incredible have a tracking code so within that different case within that uh, direct response uh, a letter you give them, you want to have some type of tracking code for online. So you tell them, hey, go online, check this out, use a code, whatever, you know, one, two, three, four, and to get your discount or to get your prize or whatever. An interesting, interesting thing, Toby, who is the founder and CEO of Shopify said not too long ago, or I would say beginning of Q1, last quarter, they had more success with billboards than they did digital. Think about that. People are getting way too fucking burnt out with digital. They're getting bombarded every day. They're getting spam. Even me, I'm getting spam calls, you know, obviously from fucking Equifax hack and all that shit. 
And so people are just getting burnt out. They don't want to see any of this digital stuff. Same old shit over and over again. But think about that pattern interrupt where for once they're actually getting, imagine you get a letter in the mail that's wax sealed <laughs> that has your name on it and handwritten and like, think about the impression that would leave on your new potential customer. It would leave an impression on me. If I get a, if I get a letter that's wax sealed and I open it up and I read it and it's not like some bullshit is actually adding value and really informative for me. And there's a more, a direct kind of tangible textile feeling. This is where I think the future is going. It's going to be a, a hybrid of offline and online, but right now is a massive opportunity because no one's doing it anymore, nobody. But I think the environment is set right now for direct response to come back, physical advertisement to come back, that and in, in your cost of your cost of your as they, as they say your return on investment or return on ad spend is going to be way cheaper. Actually, what I like to do from here is hear your thoughts about this. What's your experience with this? Leave a comment below this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out.